How do companies manage to keep production running smoothly and deliver products on time, all while keeping costs under control? The secret lies in a powerful set of strategies known as production planning and control, or PPC. So, what exactly is production planning and control? Production planning and control, PPC, is a critical component of manufacturing and production management that ensures resources are used efficiently, products are produced on schedule, and customer demand is met effectively. It combines planning, scheduling, directing, and monitoring production activities. Through PPC, companies can optimize their operations to meet specific quality, cost, and delivery objectives. PPC ensures that production runs smoothly by allocating resources, setting schedules, and coordinating production with inventory, procurement, and distribution functions. Now, what are the goals of PPC? Why do companies invest so much in it? The objectives of PPC are to optimize production resources and maintain a balanced workflow within a manufacturing environment. Key objectives include 1. Minimizing production costs. PPC strives to reduce production costs by maximizing resource utilization, minimizing idle time, and optimizing inventory levels. 2. Maximizing resource utilization. By planning production processes efficiently, companies ensure all resources, labor, machinery, and materials, are used effectively, minimizing waste. 3. Maintaining consistent quality, ensures quality standards are met throughout the production process, reducing the likelihood of defects and rework. 4. Reducing inventory levels, PPC focuses on maintaining optimal inventory levels to avoid excess stock, which ties up capital, or stockouts, which lead to delays. 5. Meeting customer demand and delivery schedules, ensuring that products are available when needed without delays, ultimately enhancing customer satisfaction. 6. Enhancing production flexibility. Production plans should be adaptable to accommodate changes in demand, supply chain disruptions, or production issues. Here's how the PPC process works, step by step. 1. Forecasting demand. The process begins with demand forecasting, which estimates future product demand based on historical data, market trends, and customer orders. Forecasting is essential for setting production schedules that align with demand. 2. Capacity planning. Capacity planning assesses the production capacity needed to meet demand. This involves evaluating the availability of labor, machines, and raw materials to ensure the company can produce the required quantities. 3. Material requirements planning. MRP MRP ensures that materials are available for production without creating excess inventory. It calculates the quantities needed and schedules material deliveries based on production requirements. 4. Master Production Schedule, MPS The MPS is a detailed plan outlining what needs to be produced, in what quantities, and when. It provides a timeline for production activities and helps coordinate resource allocation. 5. Detailed Scheduling, this step breaks down the MPS into detailed schedules for each work center, machine, or production line. It establishes the start and finish dates for each production phase. 6. Execution and Dispatching Execution involves the actual manufacturing of products according to the schedule. Dispatching coordinates the flow of materials, labor, and equipment to ensure timely completion of production tasks. 7. Monitoring and Control PPC constantly monitors production against the schedule, identifying bottlenecks, delays, or quality issues. Control measures ensure production stays on track and any deviations are addressed immediately. 8. Continuous Improvement PPC involves reviewing production processes to identify areas for improvement in efficiency, quality, and cost reduction. Techniques like Lean Manufacturing and Six Sigma can be applied here. Challenges in Production Planning and Control 1. Demand Fluctuations Changes in customer demand can disrupt production schedules and require constant adjustment of production plans. 2. Supply chain disruptions. Disruptions in the supply chain can cause delays in material availability, affecting production continuity and efficiency. 3. Complexity in scheduling. PPC must account for multiple variables such as lead times, labor availability, and machine capacities, making scheduling complex. 4. Balancing costs and quality. PPC involves managing trade-offs between production costs and quality. Low costs can lead to compromises in quality, affecting customer satisfaction. 5. Technological advancements. 
the rapid pace of technology development requires continuous adaptation of production processes to incorporate new tools and systems. 6. Environmental and Regulatory Constraints PPC must comply with regulations regarding environmental impact, safety, and labor laws, which can impose restrictions on production practices. So that's a wrap, do follow for more supply chain-related videos.